For this next video, we're going to be looking at finding the radius of a circle. So for number one, in the diagram, point B is a point of tangency. Find the radius R of circle C. So I know that point B is a point of tangency, so that just tells me that AB is tangent to circle C. And so what we learned from our first theorem is that that means that AB is perpendicular to my radius. So that means I really have a right triangle here. And I want to find the value of r. However, I do know with right triangles that I do have the Pythagorean theorem. And so that's going to be a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. So I'm going to plug in everything that I have into this equation. So my a is r, b is 80. Now when I get to my C, and I know my C is my hypotenuse, which is opposite of my right angle, I have a 50 here and I have an R. So this red portion of the side is length R, this blue portion is length 50. So that means if I am taking the entire thing, I just need to add those together. So the entire side is R plus 50. And so I want to square the whole r plus 50. So I need to put parentheses around it. And then I'm squaring that. And then now I want to solve this for r. Well, when I do 80 squared, that's 80 times 80, and I get 6,400. And now here, be very careful. Something I see students do a lot is they go ahead and distribute that 2 and say that this is equal to r squared plus 50 squared. However, it's actually not. You'll be missing a term. So remember when you're squaring something, that really means you're multiplying it by itself. So r plus 50 squared is the same thing as saying r plus 50 times r plus 50. And then now I need to go ahead and multiply this out. And so when I do that, I do r times r, and I get r squared. r times 50, and I get 50r. 50 times r, and I get 50r. And then 50 times 50, and I get 2,500. So simplifying that, I can combine these middle terms and I get 100 R. And now I need to go ahead and simplify from here. I see that both sides have an R squared, so I can actually subtract R squared from both sides and completely get rid of it. So that leaves 6400 is equal to 100 R plus 2500. Subtract 2,500 from both sides. And then 6,400 minus 2,500, you get 3,900. And then divide both sides by 100. And I get that R is equal to 39. Okay, let's try one just like that. Here it says ST is tangent to circle Q, find the radius of circle Q. So this is really just saying the same thing. So I know that ST is tangent to this circle. So that means that it is perpendicular to my radius. So I have a right angle here. So I can use my Pythagorean theorem. So A squared plus B squared equals C squared to solve for my radius R. Again, looking at my hypotenuse, I see that I know the length of this portion is r, the length of this portion is 18, so that means that this whole side is r plus 18. So when I'm plugging into my Pythagorean theorem, I get r squared plus 24 squared is equal to r plus 18 squared. And now I can simplify from here. So I have r squared plus 24 times 24, I get 576. 
is equal to, remember when I expand this, this is really saying r plus 18 times r plus 18. And then now I need to distribute this out. So I have r times r and I get r squared, r times 18 and I get 18r, 18 times r and I get 18r. And then 18 times 18 and I get 324. And then simplifying that right hand side, I can combine my middle terms and I get r squared plus 36r plus 324. Now I'm going to get r by, my, by itself. I noticed that I have an r squared on both sides, so I can subtract r squared from both sides and cancel both of those out. So I'm left with 576 is equal to 36r plus 324. Subtract 324 from both sides. And I get 252 is equal to 36R. And then when I divide 36 from both sides, I get that R is equal to 7.